It's gonna go up this staircase to the third floor, guys. All right, guys, this is the servant's room. Typically, it says here that they would, this is where the unmarried females would sleep. Not bad at all. Not a bad living space. Pretty small, but. Look at the rifles that they used. World War stuff. Please even give him this video a thumbs up. Check it out. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yourself. Look at the rifles. I presume they were really heavy to carry. Oh, I'll check that one. I can carry that around. Oh, look at that, guys. Military gear. Military gear. Real boys' room, but really cool to see. The Queen's own rifles of Canada. It's got things from World War II, post war, recent history, Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, this is all from World War I. Check out the gun. Bayonets. Wow. That's a uniform from World War I, World War II. Whoa. I bet that did some damage. This is the rifle room and trophies room and Eugene D. Bell. These guys really went through a lot so that we could have peace. These are some rifles that they used. Wow. Just show you guys some of this stuff. His own rifles. It's obviously something more modern. Somalia, Sudan, Airborne. This is crazy, guys. This is really freaky. I'm going back to get Bella. I'm really freaked out. We're just entering Casa Loma's The Dark Tunnels. The Dark Tunnels. And yeah. I was actually, I'm actually a little bit freaked out. This is a little bit nerve wracking. I don't know what I'm actually walking into right now, but. Uh, Isn't this where you see a mysterious black smoke that just floats around or something? Was I don't know. Some like ghastly spirits or something. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's like drafty cold. and cold in this tunnel. Yeah, it's got that like cold, eerie feeling. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. So you're walking down this really scary, dark tunnel, and it's just going on endlessly. And there's me and Jane. Oh James God. and I are here. Yeah. It's yeah. spooky. You expect oh, look at that cow. It's a, in the plague years, in between 1912 and 1922, diseased cow, a main source of milk at cattle market and stockyards, large growth in head and neck, as you can see. This was taken from the city of Toronto's archives. Shame. How sad is that? Wow, eh? Look at this, guys. This is the old furnace system. Look how old these, these like pipes look. It's like really, really old. Old furnace system from years and years ago. As you guys can see, it's like really freaky down here, man. All right, so I'm gonna listen to some more information on these tunnels. Look at these like eerie light fixtures straight out of like a science fiction film or like an old mad scientist film. It's like really freaky, guys. This is actually the boiler room where they used to put the coal in and heat the whole castle from this area here. It's kind of freaky though at the same time. We've just got out the... we're still kind of in this tunnel. model Ford. I had to choose one of these models. I would go for this one. I think it would suit me just fine. 
Yeah, this guy was balling. For sure. 1910 Maxwell Model Q2. 1910 is the year Sir Henry Pellet started construction of Castle Loma. This vehicle was released on the streets of Toronto and evacuated of the castle, evacuation of the castle began. Here's all the details of that car for you guys. Hey, this guy, road in style, guys. Check it out, man. Another Ford. These cars are beautiful. Really good condition for their age, I'd say, as well, man. I'm in the garage, but I'm enjoying looking at this old furniture, the old petrol, gas, tin. And look at this old desk and a phone. It's an interesting fact that's got nothing to do with the castle. Did you know that Alexandra Graham Bell invented the telephone? And he, well, we all know that from school, right? But he's from Canada, Ontario. That's right, he was a genuine Canuck baby. They do the oil changes, car changes, watches. Yeah, that's right, man. Check out all this stuff here. This is all like stuff for your car back in the day, man. This is what they used to put, they used to put these things on and pimp it out real good, eh? Oh, this is all stuff for your, your car, huh? So how they put the oil in and all that. This guy did ride in style. He really did, check that out. Fire engine red. This is a station wagon, this is an old Ford. That's his, that was his station wagon, this is how he rolled. that trip through the long, crazy, eerie tunnel, and uh, tunnel. <laughs> this is the luxury stables of the day, man. Yeah, he, he, he had a long walk to get to his horses, man. But 1906. I bet they were so beautiful, it's probably worth it. I'd walk that far for you. Aww. Yeah, even through far. the spooky tunnel? Uh, even through the spooky tunnel. Okay, we just did it. <laughs> Let's check it out. So here's the stables. Looks like these horses were in quite a luxury. The floor looks really, really nice. Really, really cool. Probably filled with hay at the time for them to relax, but cool, man. Eh? So guys, these stables that you see here began in 1906 and cost roughly, can you believe it, a quarter of a million dollars to construct. Pellet was an avid equestrian who kept a wide variety of horses at Casa Loma. The floor tiles are laid in a ribbed herringbone pattern to prevent the horses from slipping, as you can see here. Each horse had their own stall identified by polished brass name plates. Looks like some of the names here, check it out. We got Prince, and that one over there is the, what, the Widow. That's interesting. Lord Kitchener. They probably bring their horses in here and give them a good brush and feed them. And These are a collection of horse brasses. It was presented to a curator of the Queen's Own Rifle Regimental Museum by Mrs. George Maynard of Richmond Hill with the intent that it be displayed at Casa Loma. Shed now. Gardening was one of Sir Henry Pellet's passions. Pellet was an avid gardener and loved to cultivate rare and exotic varieties, orchids, and many, oh, well, many of which won, uh, won first prize. That's pretty cool, man. But check this out. Pottery is still going today. In honor of him, they still keep it going. This is a potting barn. It's beautiful. This is a really cool diorama of Casa Loma in the gardens. Check it out, man. You can't really see the scale of it, but it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool, man. Some interesting facts about Casa Loma. This castle took nearly 300 men to build, three years to complete. It cost like $3,500,000 at the time to build it. It's situated on five acres. Casa Loma was the largest private residence at that time in Canada. Fortunately, Sir Henry Pellet and his wife only enjoyed this beautiful Casa Loma for only 10 years. Before financial misfortune caused him to lose his home. Hey guys, we've had such an awesome day at Casa Loma. I don't know if I can try to get it in. Woo! Actually, it's a real touching story of uh, Mr. Pellet. I, mean, I was just listening to the, the commentary over the headphones. I was getting all teary-eyed because it's just so amazing how this place got restored. And, you know, we, just, you know, we honor you today, Mr. Pellet. But guys, Sir Henry Pellet. Yeah, Sir Henry Pellet. But, of Canada. <laughs> you know, 
you know, this is what we're doing in our world TV, baby. This and, is Team uh, Castles. That's right, man. We're taking you into castles with us. We're taking you all over Toronto this week. Hope you enjoyed the vlog today. And, and if you did, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Smash that like button. Smash the heck out of it because the more you guys smash that button, the more we know you like the videos and the more we know that we need to make even better content for you. So just keep smashing that like button as much as you can. And uh, we love you guys. And Our World TV from Casa Loma. Uh, have a great night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you guys soon. Bye.